A RoomEQ setup feature is now available for the NAD C390DD direct digital amplifier. The operating system software version, which includes the EQ setup, is version 2.64 or higher. To check the software version installed on the 390DD, with the unit turned on, press and hold the center button on the front panel for 5 seconds until the software version appears on the display. If the version is lower than 2.64, then the updated software needs to be installed. You will also need the Room EQ test sequence files to initiate the Room EQ setup and make corresponding level adjustments to optimize the C390DD for a specific listening room and speakers. The test sequence is downloaded to a USB jump drive and inserted into the front USB port of the 390DD to perform the calibration process. The following steps are required to install the update. Go to www.nadelectronics.com and search C390DD. This will point you to the product page for the 390. Click on the link for manuals and downloads. Click on the link for the C390 upgrade and save the file to your computer. Remember the file's location. Extract the contents of the file directly to a USB memory stick that has at least one meg of free memory space. Turn off the power to the C390 using the switch on the rear panel. Connect the USB memory stick, with all three files already stored, to the front USB input of the C390DD. With it plugged into a power source, press and hold the front panel standby button. While holding down the standby button, switch on the rear panel power switch. Continue to hold down the standby button until the display illuminates showing an updating message. The display may vary, just ensure that updating is displayed and then the standby button can be released. After completing all the updates, the C390DD will automatically go into standby mode. At this point, the updating process will be complete. Now that the update's installed, the Room EQ feature is now available and ready to use. The EQ setup can be accomplished using your hearing to make adjustments, but a sound level meter is preferred. This can be a traditional SPL meter or one of several apps available for smartphones. Also, the NAD AVR4 remote, which was included with the 390DD, is also required for the EQ setup. The EQ setup should be performed from the listening position within the room. Ensure that the 390DD is on and the USB stick with all previously extracted files is plugged into the USB port on the front panel. Regardless of the current source, press and hold the AVR4's EQ button for 3 seconds. The 390DD will switch to Room EQ Setup Mode and immediately locate and play back 001 FLAC. This is a 240Hz test file. Set the volume of the 390DD to reach an SPL reading of about 80 dB at the listening position. Then a 1 kHz tone will play, followed directly by a 240 Hz tone. Adjust the volume of the 390DD during the 1K tone until the level on the sound meter is zero. With the 240 Hz tone playing, Use the up and down cursors on the remote to adjust the sound level volume until it reads as zero on the SPL meter. Continue this process adjusting level and EQ levels for 180 Hz, 120 Hz, 90 Hz, 60 Hz, and 40 Hz. If you wish to replay a tone, use the skip buttons on the remote to move backwards or forwards through the frequencies. As well, the playback of the file can be paused and restarted using the pause and play buttons on the remote. After setting the levels for 40 Hz, the display will read Equalization Room EQ. Playback of adjusted levels will then commence. A sweep test. There will be two sweep files. The first file is a long sweep file, and then comes the short sweep file. Both sweep files will replay for each frequency setting back to back without playing the 1 kHz tone in between. The tone should play back at the same level for all frequencies. This is the time to adjust the Q or width of each filter. The wide setting allows for more filter overlap and will slightly affect the adjacent test frequencies as well. Playback stops at the end of the last sweep file. 
the room EQ setup is finished and the display will read room EQ setup completed. Remember, we are trying to subtract standing waves or room boom. We are not trying to add more bass response to speakers that lack deep bass extension. That's a job for a subwoofer. If your particular speaker room combination rolls off at the 60 and 40 hertz tones, this is quite normal for most loudspeakers. What room EQ will accomplish is the unmasking of lower frequencies. Bass will now sound tighter and better defined. The pitch of bass notes should be clearer than before EQ. And don't be surprised if most frequencies do not require any adjustment. There are usually only one or two frequencies where standing waves occur in a given room. If at a later time you rearrange the room or move the speakers, this could change the standing wave pattern and you'll have to perform this test again.